the flying monkeys standing up for the poor, sad, heroic, stoic, magnificent, powerful narc. Why do the flying monkeys get so angry? They get angrier than the narc. Why? At the person who's questioning the narc or even just not participating in the, what the narc is doing is a form of, like any, you know, just not doing what the narc is saying is a form of uh, assault, basically, to the narc. Not following their orders is a form of abuse in the narc's mind to them. So why do the flying monkeys get so, uh, so angry? And, uh, so upset at you and this is why I will explain the flying monkeys are frequently victims of the narc well they are actually by definition of the mind control of the narc that the narc is putting out there and they get trapped in the narc's games and they absorb all the abuse of the narc over the course of years they begin to buy into the narc completely and their identity gets tied up in the narc which is what the narc wants is for them to not have an identity outside of the narc so their identity is based on what the narc tells them that they are um, and this whole system that this gets created around the narc if you call the system into question uh, you start poking holes in it it basically can can activate in the flying monkey's mind this under this this sort of glimmer of a of like oh my god like how oh my god this whole thing is a lie oh my god and it's like they go into denial mode and they can't accept that uh, this life that they built based on the narc is a lie so they instead will shoot the messenger right you've heard of shooting the messenger every cliche shooting the messenger um, I don't like the message so rather than dealing with the you know the reality of the message let me just kill this messenger and if I kill the messenger then it's like the message is isn't true because there's no messenger he's dead so I guess no more message uh, so this is the reaction that the narc has uh, that the flying monkey rather has when you call them into question, they can get very, very angry in and of themselves in their own right because their identity is so hooked up to the narcs that um, you start to poke holes in, in the narcs' fantasy, this grandiose vision of the world that they've created. And it's like you're poking holes in, this whole, in, the, in the whole like paradigm of, of the flying monkey and they shoot the messenger. Okay, and then the other analogy you can use is slavery and this is pretty dark but you know the narc does enslave people and we know that a slave mentality there's certain slaves that get so wrapped up in into the in they're so abused by their enslaver by the slave master that they start to have that that uh what should i say stockholm syndrome and they start thinking they start thinking oh the slave master is actually a great guy and you, you insult the slave master and the slave will actually get upset because their identity is so hooked into the slave master they identify with the slave master the slave master projects their identity into the slave like the slave is an extension of the identity of the slave master the narc so you know the the anger the overwhelming anger and uh, defensiveness and agitation of the flying monkeys to the point of violence to the point of extreme violence and anger can be summarized uh, in two different very very cliche things which is Stockholm syndrome and shooting the messenger